kingdom of heaven. And he vowed the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Amen. Which temple you are. So you have to discipline yourself to put aside every weight that be, or sin that besets you, the Bible says. So if I know the truth, then it's up to me to stand by that truth. And if I'm making my mind, I'm not going to sin, I'm not going to backslide, I'm not going back, I'm not weak, I'm strong, then I am exactly what I speak out of my mouth. I'm strong in Christ Jesus. And the devil can't do me no harm. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's learn how to defend the faith and be a part of the true faith. Because we've got people that's going to be coming in from around this world. We're still looking for a family from Kenya. Amen. They, all they're doing is waiting for their passport. Yes. And we're waiting for that family from the Philippines. Yes. Hopefully they're waiting for their visa to come. Amen. Here. And we're going to have a people that have been scattered whom God is going to bring in for the fulfillment of the prophecy. Amen. How many love the word of God? Hallelujah. The world is full of such prophets. They're speaking and they're using the Bible, but God ain't sent them. God ain't spoken to them. It's best that you take heed to what you have learned and what you have heard from a vessel that God has sent, who has exemplified himself above board. A preacher who's not after your money. Amen. But I am after your soul. Amen. Amen. So let's govern ourselves accordingly and let's be aware of the warnings God sends to the church because the time is quickly coming to an end. And all that you see that is taking place in this world right now, people begging for jobs and can't find jobs. A person with a massive degree had a difficult time in getting a job. He had to take a job below their standard, below their, uh, their degree. But nevertheless, God is going to provide all those Amen. who would follow his prophet. Amen. Amen. All right, now let's go right to our questionnaire. Uh -huh. I'll run through the question right quick. Prophecy means judge life and death, speak for God, or God incarnate. Question two, Paul wrote the church it's the doctrine that saves. Book, chapter, verse. Question three, concerning question three, give three meanings for doctrine. I want three meanings for doctrine, single words. God was created in the image and likeness of man. True or false? Question five, why was Paul water baptized? Three words. I want the distinct three words. Question six, Paul's last teaching came from the city of, question seven, faith means one dominant word. Question eight, the book of Revelation was given by Paul, Peter, Jesus, or John. The book of Revelation was given by Paul, Peter, Jesus, or John on the Isle of Patmos. Question nine, in 2 Timothy 2 and 1, Paul addresses his letter to his natural son, give his name, or the correction. Question 10, the name of the people who saw God in personality form, excluding angel of the Lord. Name the people who saw God in personality form. Question 11, Jesus on the right hand of God means, in recognition, two words. And you have eight there. Chapter 1 of Hebrews. Uh, chapter 1 of Hebrews. Okay, chapter 1. Right. 
All right, question 12. When Moses got to the river Jordan, it parted through Moses' obedience. True or false? Question 13. God is an angel, is and can be debated. We teach God is not an angel, using the book of... If you believe God is an angel, mark yes. And read that again. God is an angel, is and can be debated. In other words, keep discussion. We teach God was not an angel. Using the book of, what book do we use to prove that? Well, our statement that God is not an angel. If you believe God was an angel, mark yes. All right, 12 points, 140. Exit 120, very good, 100, and good, 80. All right, let's go right to question one. Prophecy means judge life and death, speak for God or God incarnate. All right, Evangelist Jones. Praise the Lord. All right, let me speak for God. Who disagree? Everybody agree? All right, correct. Speak for God. Question two. Paul wrote, Paul wrote the church. It's the doctrine that saves us. Book, chapter, verse. All right, Evangelist Evans. 1 Timothy 4 and 16. It's the doctrine that saves us. Since we are a doctrinal teaching church, everybody ought to mark that. Nobody should miss that. Question three. Concerning question three, you get three meanings for doctrine. The daughter Chris. Pardon? Word. Scripture. Uh, no, that's not right. No. Uh, all right. Minister Kevin. Uh, how about uh, instruction, gospel, and teaching? Instruction, gospel, and teaching. How many agree? Some, some, who don't agree? Raise your hand. Oh, you, you, some of it. All right, what part did you not agree with? All right, would you disagree with? Now, Nobody should have missed that. We've been through it many times. Three minis for doctrine. Teaching, instruction, and gospel. Yes. We've we, we been through that many times. When Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, I'm talking to doctrine. That's right. Amen. Yes. Now, I said three, I think I have single words, three single words. Instruction, teaching, and gospel. Yes. Huh? Uh-uh. No. We, we're talking about a specific principle. Document the specific principle that could include commandments. All right, God was created in the image and likeness of man. True or false? All right. All right, you put true. God was created. Who put true? Richard. <laughs> you ain't got no help. You, you put true? No, it's the other way around. <laughs> God was not created in the image of man. Man was created in the image of God. <laughs> well, I, 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 I got one that time. Did they get two? I got one. All right. Why was Paul water baptized? I know. Who agree? Who disagree? To wash away sins. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Would you accept to fulfill all righteousness? Uh, Wouldn't that be four words? Uh, to fulfill all? No, no, just uh, fulfill all righteousness. Just three words. Got a book of Acts. But, uh, wait a minute. Book of Acts. I think, I think I said for a guide, uh, a book of Acts, and a book of Acts, uh, a preacher said, why tear it down? Arise, be baptized. Wash away those sins. Amen. 